this rack. I made that six ball on the break. I go ahead and opt for the stripes because I want because that eight ball is kind of pinned over there on the rail where it'd be a little bit tough to go up to the corner where I'm standing right now. So I go ahead and hit this ten ball. I'm gonna have several options for shots after that. The nine ends up being real nice, so I go ahead and shoot the nine on the side. That kind of dropped down over here. I had a little bit of an angle, so I can go ahead and pick up that 15. That 15 was kind of the last treble ball. I end up hitting it a little goofy and leaving myself bad. I don't have a clean shot to go on that 11 up in the corner. So I'm going to cut the 11 in the far side. Generally, the middle of the table is pretty open after the shot, so... Um, I end up with kind of bad shape again, so I'll go ahead and cut this 14 in this side, um, but there's plenty of room to move in the middle of the table, so I'm going to have kind of a shooter's choice after this. I go ahead and hit the 13 um, in the corner, kind of drift over here to this side to shoot the 12 in the side. I want to follow up and be up kind of somewhere near where I am, standing right there. But I end up on the wrong side of it, so I go ahead and just follow over to the rail on the short side of the 8 and shoot it up in this uh, right corner, or sorry, left corner on the top. So rather than do something real hard and try to move the cue ball clear around the table and risk missing that ball, I just go ahead and drift up to the rail and go ahead and shoot it past the 3 ball. Sometimes you have to take those a little bit harder shots. Um, just be ready to take them and do what you have to do. On this rack, I started off, I'm looking real hard at stripes right at the beginning. And then I kind of noticed this ball along this side rail, um, right about where my tip is right now. Um, it's kind of trapped and about the only pocket without banking it would be up in the corner. Um, I don't really like that, so I go ahead and I shoot this five with a little bit of draw. Try not to move anything. Um, then I'm going to hit this three, kind of use some high left English, um, come over and hit the six ball next. I didn't want to touch the eight, but it's all right. I didn't tie it up. So here I'll go ahead and use a little bit of low left, pop back out into the middle of the table. This one, I don't want to drift down into this corner again, so I pass on the seven. I'm going to go ahead and hit the 1 with some draw. I end up kind of right between the 2 and the 7, which is good. The angle favors shooting the 2 first. I'll be able to drift over just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I got the 7. I can pretty much stop or drift a tiny bit towards this rail for the 8. Um, I don't have to move very much.